New at 10, animal shelters busting at the seams, people posting pets for adoption on social media, not just cats and dogs. During this oil downturn, you'd think reptiles would be the last thing on people's list. Uncle 2's Jenna Sands joined us live in the studio with more on a pet trend that's slithering through the basin. Jenna? Stephanie, a Midland vet tells me she has treated more snakes at her clinic in the past year than she has seen in the last decade. Ball pythons, boas. If you don't like snakes, you might want to listen rather than watch on what's up here in the basin. Definitely would say over the last year it's increased dramatically. Dr. Jessica Todia says there's a spike in interest for the exotic, specifically snakes here in the basin. People now turning to social media to purchase pets. Something she says due to a lack of knowledge causes these animals more harm than good. Most of the time I see them when they're very sick. And it's a lot of educating the owners about what they're doing wrong. I must say, I don't normally see snakes just for a healthy visit. Though reptiles are considered more affordable than traditional cats and dogs, they live to be much longer, and each species has different needs. Um, but people have to understand that, you know, every animal has a different level of care. This local ball python breeder has been handling these creatures for years. Mike Webb returned to the basin knowing the high demand for ball pythons. And, you know, they're becoming not as taboo as they once were. You know, people are starting to accept them as, you know, an animal, not just, you know, instead of having that good snake as a dead snake mentality. His advice? Like know what you're getting yourself you into. To feed him. So cool. Do your research before you buy something. Make sure you have everything you need before you buy it. And, you know, be prepared for what it's going to turn into when it gets bigger. And it's the doctor's orders to you. As with any animal, I think that the more educated you are before you do it, the better. Now, if you're even thinking about taking on a new pet of any species, check out your city's ordinances and permit requirements on their websites. For those specific links, you can head to yourbasin.com. Live in the studio, Jenna Sands, Local 2 News.